So Slack is messaging for internal communications in companies that brings together not just the messages from human beings, but messages from external systems. So things like um, filing a bug report on your software will cause a message into Slack. Or when someone tweets at your company, uh, it'll come into Slack. Or when someone creates a customer support ticket using Zendesk, then it gets posted into Slack. Um, or any one of a hundred other services. Mm. The result is that a company gets all of its communication in one place and it becomes searchable. Whereas when I open my email, it's a lot of uh, someone followed me on Twitter, my monthly statement is available, it's email from family, it's email from friends, it's from former colleagues, it's from my current colleagues, it's from people I work with outside the company, my investors, and it's a, uh, a giant mess of different kinds of information, which has a very high cognitive cost to process mm. and separate. What's the secret of your success? We did a good job and we're smart and capable and the design is, is as good as we can make it, but I think it's also a matter of timing. Uh, people, and in the context of the future of work, people, I think, fail to appreciate the, the changes that have happened, especially in the last five years. So I think if we had started Slack three years earlier, it would have not been nearly as successful or maybe it would have been a, a complete mm. failure. So maybe it's important that um, people with original ideas, you're a philosopher, yeah. not a kind of coder, technical guy. Uh, go into the valley and do interesting things. It's about thinking different. I was especially interested in the history and philosophy of science, and within that, especially 19th century biology. <laughs> so that's a pretty niche thing, but there was a community of, of people who were interested in the history and philosophy of 19th century biology. So I think that the one common thread through those things, things like tagging, things like interestingness, the open API, um, many of which made into Slack, was uh, using the internet for what it is best for, which is a platform for human beings to connect. What will you do with all the money? So will you become the next, so will you be the next ecosystem like Microsoft was in the 80s, That's the 90s? goal. It's easy to sit here with all that money on your bank account, but there has to be another world which makes you successful oh, at the end. Believe me, it, it doesn't help um, in terms of depression or waking up. I bet most people here, like at least half of you, wake up and the first thing you do is check your phone before you even get out of bed. And I'm the worst at it. I get up, I don't even have my contact lenses in, so I'm squinting at my phone like this. And I'm reading these emails and I'm getting angrier and angrier and more <laughs> depressed. So by the time I get out of bed 45 minutes later, I can barely tolerate the thought of going to the office. So being successful and having money in the bank doesn't help. I try to speculate about the future. Um, Someone yesterday used the American colloquialism, you ain't seen nothing yet. I think that's definitely true. In terms of the amount of information available um, and the, the kind of our ability to use computers to organize um, and filter and amplify and take advantage of human interaction, it's pretty mm. remarkable. Don't sell Slack. Okay, no problem. Uh, you won't, will you? No. Never. I. Uh, I'm 41 now, and I will almost certainly not have another opportunity this big again, so there's no incentive to sell.